Assalamualaikum and a very good hello everyone. In we are from Group Three. In this video, we are going to talk about diode. Diode is a very important electronic device in our daily life. Whether we realize or not, diode plays a very important role in our in our electronic devices such as smartphones, laptops, television, and a name of you. So what is diode? Okay, diode is mostly created from semiconductor materials such as silicon, germanium, and carbon. There is this is the diode schematic diagram. In this diagram, we can see the terminals that are cathode and anode, negative and positive respectively. There are two types of semiconductor that are intrinsic and extrinsic. Okay, intrinsic diode is made from pure element, uh, silicon, germanium, or carbon. The uh, the other one is intrinsic that have impurity. Uh, such example is uh, silicon plus uh, silver, silicon plus gold. So uh, intrinsic have two types. There is p type and n type. N type is is combined of uh, silicon or silicon germanium or carbon plus with a trivalent electrons and the end type is uh, silicon germanium or carbon uh, plus with metavalent electrons there are three types of diode models that are ideals, practicals and complete Diode is a device that conduct current in only one direction the diode works by doping extrinsic material there are p-type and n-type to make a p-n junction where p-type receive electron or call as acceptor atom Major, majority carrier are holes while the minority carrier are electrons when n-type when n-type give up electron or call as donor atom majority carrier are electrons where minority carrier are holes for depletion region, for every electron that diffuse across the junction and combine with a hole, a positive charge is left in the region and a negative charge is created in the P region. Barrier potential. What is barrier potential? A barrier potential is the force between the opposite charge from a field of force which is also called as an electric field. This electric field is a barrier to free electron in the end region. The application of diode, there is one common thing that we use in our daily life, which is rectifier. Rectifier are used to convert alternate current to direct current. By using the diode, Bias is a potential applied to a PN junction to obtain a desired mode of operation. There are two types of bias, which is pole bias and reverse bias. We can know it is a forward bias when positive terminal from voltage sources are connected to P region and negative terminal from voltage sources are connected to N region. Bias voltage must be greater than barrier potential, which is 0.3 for germanium and 0.7 volt for silicon. Therefore, the depletion region will narrow. Okay, so I'm gonna be speaking about uh, reverse bias uh, now. Uh, have you heard about it uh, before? Uh, because if you haven't, then please let me hear. Right okay, first, generally speaking, uh, reverse bias means um, it is a condition that prevents uh, the current to go through the diode. Okay, uh, as for its uh, and and cathode connection. Uh, it is the complete op complete opposite of of the forward bias. Okay. And uh, in this circuit, there is no resistor um, like uh, other circuit. And uh, the depletion region um, is widened uh, than in forward bias. Okay and. As for the short transition time uh, immediately after reverse bias voltage is applied, 
um, under that title okay um, the positive side of bias will pull the free electron uh, in the n region away from the pn junction because uh, additional positive ions are created which then will widening uh, the, the depletion region as for the p region electron from the negative side will enter uh, the circuit uh, or the diode as, um, as a valence electron and it will then move from hole to hole towards the depletion region you know the depletion region the previous one uh, between the p region and n region that's the depletion region okay and then it will um, create it um, the an additional negative ions and in this case uh, as the depletion re region widens the availability of majority carriers will generally generally decrease okay reverse current um, I'm gonna explain this briefly to you okay in reverse uh, bias the diet supposedly uh, not to allow any current to flow through it ideally but in reality there is some extremely small current uh, will, that will flow through the diode uh, and that is called the reverse current so i'll be explaining about the iv characteristics of the diode so the iv characteristic of the diode is the relationship between current through a diode and the voltage applied on the diode it is represent, represented as a graph this characteristic has every diode. X axis represents uh, the voltage applied on the diode and the Y axis represents current through the diode. While the right side is forward the voltage region, the diode is forward bias. While the left side is the diode in reverse bias condition. Okay. The diode has a non-linear characteristic, not like as Ohm's law that is a linear characteristic. So when voltage is positive, uh, current exponentially increases until it reaches uh, the value of the diode voltage. The diode voltage for silicon is 0.7 volts, while for germanium diode is 0.3 volts. For the voltage greater than the diode voltage, current rapidly increases as it is limited only by resistance in circuit. Voltage is negative. There is very small current through the diode, leaking or reverse saturation current. Reverse saturation current is few microamperes and is practically negligible. When negative voltage is high enough, current starts to flow through the diode in reverse direction. The value of the voltage is known as reverse breakdown voltage. Depending on the voltage applied, diode can work in three regions: forward bias region reverse bias region and breakdown region. To summarize, diode is very important to electronic devices.